thrones, principalities, authorities, powers, the many eyed cherubim, and the six winged seraphim, whom heaven and earth fear, the sea and all that live therein, come forth and depart from the sealed and newly elicited shelter of Christ our God. For I abjure you by him that rides upon the wings of the winds, who makes his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. Come forth and from this creature which he fashioned, depart with all your power and might. For glorified is the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. God, the Holy, the Awesome, and the Glorious, who concerning all His works and strength is incomprehensible and unsearchable, who Himself has ordained for you, O devil, the retribution of eternal torment through us, His unworthy servants, command you and your cooperating might to go forth from Him that is newly sealed in the name of our Lord God and Savior Christ. Therefore, you all evil and clean, abominable, loathsome, and alien spirit, I abjure you by the power of Jesus Christ, who has all authority in heaven and on earth, who says to the dumb, deaf, and dumb demon, Get out of the man and enter no more into him. Depart, know the vainness of your mind, which had not power ever over the swine. Remember him who bade you at your request to enter into the head of swine. Fear God, at whose command the earth was established upon the waters, who has founded the heavens and fixed the mountains with a line, and the valleys with a measure who has placed the sand for, the, for a boundary to the sea and made safe pass through the waters, who touched the mountains and they smoke, who clothed himself with light as with a gun, who has stretched out the heavens as with a curtain, who covers his upper rooms with waters, who has founded the earth on her firm foundations so that it shall not be moved forever, who calls up the waters of the seas and sprinkles it on the face of the earth, Come out, depart from him who is now being made ready for holy illumination. I abjure you by the saving passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, by his precious blood and all pure body, and by his terrible coming again. For he shall come and not tarry to judge all the earth, and shall punish you and your cooperating might in the Gehenna of fire, consigning you to the outer darkness where the worm dies not and the fire is not quenched. For of Christ is the might with the Father and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. O Lord of Sabbath, the God of Israel, who heals every sickness and every wound, look down upon these your seven apostles. Search out and try him, driving away from him every operation of the devil. Rebuke the unclean spirits and expel them, cleansing the work of your hands and using your trenchant energy, beat down Satan under his feet, giving him victory over him and over his unclean spirits, so that obtaining the mercy that comes from you, he may be accounted worthy of, the, of your immortal and heavenly mysteries, and may send up all glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. You, the existing Sovereign Master and Lord, who made man after your own image and likeness, and gave to him power of eternal life, and when he had fallen through sin, did not disdain him, but did provide for him through the incarnation of your Christ, the, the salvation of the world. Redeeming this, your creature, from the yoke of the enemy, receive him into your heavenly reign. Open the eyes of his understanding, so that the illumination of your gospel may down upon him. You come to his life a shining angel, to deliver him from every plot directed against him by the adversary, from encounter with evil, from the noonday demon, and from evil dreams. Drive out from him every evil and unclean spirit, finding a lurking in his heart. Amen. Amen. Drive out from him every evil and unclean spirit hiding and lurking in his heart. Amen. The spirit of error, the spirit of evil, the spirit of idolatry and of all covetousness that works according to the teaching of the devil. Make him a region and doubt ship of the holy flock of your Christ and honorable member of your church. A hallowed vessel, a child of light and heir of your reign. 
so that having ordered his life according to your commandments, and having guarded the seal and kept it unbroken, and having preserved his garment undefiled, he may attain unto the blessedness of the saints of your reign. Through the grace and compassion and my befriending love of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your own holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, both now and ever into the ages of ages, Do you renounce Satan and all his works and all his worship and all his angels and all his pomp? I do renounce Do you renounce Satan and all his works and all his worship and all his angels and all his pomp? I do renounce it. Do you renounce Satan and all his works and all his worship and all his angels and all his pomp? I do renounce it. Have you renounced Satan? I have renounced Have you renounced Satan? I have renounced Have you renounced Satan? I have renounced Then blow and spit upon him. Blow three times. Spit upon him. Do you join Christ? Do you join Christ? Do you join Christ? Have you joined Christ? Have you joined Christ? Have you joined Christ? And do you believe in Him? Blessed is God who desires that all people should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Let us pray to the Lord. Sovereign Master, Lord our God, call these your seven apostles to your holy illumination, and account him worthy of this great grace and your holy baptism, who taught from him the old man and renew him unto everlasting life. Fill him with the power of your Holy Spirit and the union with your Christ, that he may no longer be a child of the body, but a child of your reign. Through the good pleasure and grace of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good and life-creating Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Glory to you, our God, and our hope. Glory to you. May Christ, our true God, through the intercessions of his all pure and blameless Holy Mother, through the power of the precious and life-giving cross of Saint Demetrius, the Exalter of Meron of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us as a good and loving God. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us.
invisible specter who withdraw itself from us and let not a demon of darkness conceal himself in this water. Neither let an evil spirit bring in obscurity of purpose and rebellious souls descend into it with him that is about to be baptized. But in your master of all, declare this water to be water of redemption, water of sanctification, a cleansing of flesh and spirit, the losing of bonds, a forgiveness of sins, an illumination of soul, a lover of regeneration, a renewal of the spirit, a gift of sonship, a garment of incorruption, a fountain of life. For you have said, O Lord, wash and be clean, put away evil from your souls. We have bestowed upon us regeneration from on high by water and the Spirit. Manifest yourself, O Lord, in this water, and grant that he that is to be baptized may be transformed therein with the putting away of the old man which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and to the putting on of the new, which is renewed according to the image of him that created him, that being planted in the likeness of your death through baptism, he may become a share of your resurrection and preserving the gift of your Holy Spirit and increasing the deposit of grace, he may attain unto Christ of his high calling and accounted among the number of the firstborn whose names are written in heaven. In you, our God and Lord Jesus Christ, to whom be all glory and might, together with your eternal Father and your all holy good and life creating Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Let us pray to the Lord. Sovereign Lord and Master God of our fathers, who did send to them in the ark of Noah, bear to the dove bearing and twig of olive in its beak, as a sign of reconciliation and salvation from the flood. And through these things perfected the mystery of grace, and thereby had filled them that were under the law with the Holy Spirit, and perfected them that under grace, doing yourself bless this oil by the power and operation and descent of the Holy Spirit, that it may become an anointing of incorruption, a shield of righteousness, a renewal of soul and body, and averting of every operation of the devil to the removal of all evils from them that are anointed with it in faith, all that are partakers of it. Your glory and to that of your only begotten Son and of your own holy good and life creating spirit, both now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Mother brings the child to be baptized. Yes. Son. Proskomen. Let us attend. Roscommon. Ευλογητό ο Θεό, ο φωτίζον και αγιάζον πάντα άνθρωπον ερχόμενο ει τον κόσμο, νυν και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. The servant of God Apostolos is anointed with the oil of gladness in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For the health of soul and body, for the hearing of faith, your hands have made me and fashioned me. Πατίνε πάνω όφελ και σκορπίων και επιπάσαν την δύναμη του εχθρού του πορεύεστε τα διαβήματά σου. The Lord said, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. The servant of God Apostolos is baptized in the name of the Father.
position. The reading is from the Epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Roman. Let us attend. Brethren, do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were buried, therefore, we need what happened.
of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. In your name, O Lord God of truth, and in the name of your only begotten Son and of your Holy Spirit, I lay my hand upon these your seven apostles, who has been accounted worthy to flee unto your holy, holy name and to be sheltered under the shadow of your wings. Remove far from him that ancient error and fill him with faith and hope and love that is in you, that he may know that you alone are, are the true God and your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and your Holy Spirit. Grant, grant him to walk in your commandments and to observe those things that are acceptable before you. For even men that chances and find life in them. Inscribe him in your book of life and unite him to the flock of your inheritance. Let your holy name be glorified in him and that of your well-beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and of your life-creating Spirit. Let your eyes look over him in mercy, and your ears be ever attentive unto the voice of his prayer. Let him ever rejoice in the works of his hands and in all his generation, that he may give thanks to you, worshiping and glorifying your great and most high name, and may ever praise you all the days of his life. For all the powers of heaven praise you, and yours is the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord rebukes your devil, he that came into the world and made his dwelling among men, that he might cast down your tyranny and deliver men. He that upon the tree triumphed over the opposing powers, when the sun was darkened and the earth was shaken and the tombs were opened and the bodies of the saints arose. He that by death destroyed death and overcame him that held the might of death that is even your devil. I abjure you by the living God who has shone forth the tree of life and posted the cherubim and the flaming sword.